what up y'all today we got a five marker random pack i won from a contest held by infamyart.com i don't really have an idea of what five markers they sent but i did sort of request the bleed through marker by mighty markers so hopefully that'll be in here i already cut this open so let's see what we got So we got a big ass sticker right here. And we got their tag, Instagram tag and hashtag. Cool, cool. They got a good size mop here and a nice infamy art sticker pack. We'll definitely check this out afterwards. Oh, yep, and here goes the blue bleed through ink marker by Mighty Markers. With this marker here, we're definitely going to do a review with both a bleed through and buff test. The nib is both a two millimeter round and a reverse side four millimeter chisel. So it looks like we got some kind of OTR squeezer marker. I'm not exactly sure which one it is, but we'll definitely check it out afterwards. I definitely know what this one is. This is the hard to buff ink round tip marker. Then we got some kind of shoe polish marker here. And we got a mud mark refill paint. And from trying out the red, I can definitely tell you that this one's gonna be good too. The OTR 070 round tip hard to buff ink marker. Like I said, it's a good marker. I did do a review on it. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link right here. So it looks like they sent the OTR 004 sole tip squeezer mop in the black. Looks like it holds 75 milliliters and has a 12 millimeter round mop nib. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this one comes with a durable uh, mohair nib. Oh uh, yeah, you can see it right here that it's puffed up a lot more compared to the regular mop nibs. So we'll definitely do a review on this real soon. Okay, so I do know what this is. This is the Binica uh, mop from Spain, and this is an alcohol-based deep black shoe polish style marker that we all recognize. Standard 25 millimeter sponge nib for them fatty ass eye buster tags. They do got a few style of these markers and refills in the black and the silver. And last but not least, we got the Infamy Art Mud Mark paint refill. This is a clay based pigment paint with alcohol and from my experience with it has very consistent opaque color that I would actually say is proven to be better than the Molotov permanent paint and way cheaper in price but definitely not in quality. I highly recommend trying this for a mop refill with quality behind it. Alright then now let's check out the sticker pack they sent. So we got this mop here that we're gonna use for the review of this mud mark sometime real soon. So remember to watch my videos like they do in the future. Nice, we got the classic Infamy Art logo in the black and white. We got a loop sticker, those cans from Italy that I still haven't even tried yet. 
Then we got an Infamy Art splatter style logo in the white and the black. Got a couple of those. They're pretty nice. Not 100% sure on these handwritten ones here. So if you know who wrote them, go ahead and tag them in the video in the comments and give them their credit. Got a Montana can sticker. Another Infamy Art Classic logo with the blue and the black. Love wins today. And we got something real nice from the OG. A bill from the White Ninja himself, Jabber One. With that classic face that I seen over and over again creeping through the train yards growing up. Yo, much thanks to InfamyArt.com. Subscribe for more reviews and go check out InfamyArt.com for more graph supplies. Peace.